What is going on everybody? My name is Riot Maker 650 and today we're playing Lords of the Fallen. In this video I'm going to show you on how to get the enhanced lump hammer and exactly where to locate it. First thing you're going to want to do is purchase the Pilgrim's Perch key for 9500 vigor uh, from the captain from Skyrest Bridge and then make your way down to this location here which is the vestige of Blind Agatha also known as the Bell Room. From there, you're gonna. There's gonna be an NPC sitting in this corner. You don't have to worry about him. And there's gonna be this locked door with a bell on top. With that key, you're able to access that door, and you want to continue through there. I apologize if you hear a lot of background noise. The rain today is crazy, and it's very loud. <laughs> so if you're pretty new to this game and you get the key, you access this door, you're gonna want to run through. Because these enemies are harder, even though it's in a beginning area of the game. So, if you just follow my steps here, you want to go straight. Drop down here. There's going to be a lot of enemies with crossbows. So you just want to dodge them all. Because that guy hit me. Come through. You're going to have to go to Umbral here anyway. So you can let them kill you, or you can just summon Umbral yourself. So once you're in Umbral, you want to make your way down here. There'll be this dude hiding behind. He'll try to push you off the edge, so try to dodge by him if you can. Keep running, keep running. There is a Vestige Siege location here, like a little uh, flower bed if you need it. Keep going up. Go outside. Up the ladder left here. The crossbow dude, pass him. Keep your heels up, go through this room. There's gonna be another flower bed here on the left. We wanna climb the ladder. Once you climb the ladder, just go up this hill. There'll be a shield guy and a dog. Just dodge past them, run them. Ass and elbows, that's all you gotta do. Ass and elbows down the road. There'll be a boss on the left hand side, you want to keep right. Now there's going to be a couple barrels that get thrown at you right here. But I've already uh, been up here so there's no barrels at this point. There'll be a barrel down here too with this guy. A lot of crossbow people. Keep stacking those heels up. You want to run out here and then you want to hang a left. Because once you get left, there is a vestige right here. Alright, we've made it to the vestige. The vestige is Vestige of Dieter. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's also known as Memorial when you go to uh, fast travel. What you're going to want to do next is head all the way down, past all the enemies, There's going to be a lot of crossbow users here, so you want to try and dodge them all. Keep heading down, the, just head down the hill more or less, the entire way. Yep, crossbow guys, killed me. That's why you want to be careful, but you do have umbral. So there you go. And then... The item will be right here on this person's body, right here. Right on the soldier. So you can grab it and run away or try and fight everybody. What I did is I just ran down, grab it, and ran back up. Because when I went to go do this, I was way underpowered. So there was no way of me killing them all. Now there are two different lump hammers. The normal lump hammer and then the enhanced lump hammer. That is the location of the enhanced lump hammer. And I'll show you the difference here in a minute. Like I said, there are two different hammers. Throwable hammers. Lump hammer and enhanced lump hammer. The biggest difference is the scaling. Strength and agility. For the normal hammer is C plus and C minus. For the enhanced lump hammer it's B plus and B minus. Which you can see the total attack power is 595 for me. And then 210. There's a, there's a huge difference between these two. And now if you look, 
I don't play a strength build or an agility build. I have a few points into agility. Most of my points are into Inferno, Radiance, and Vitality. So we'll throw that on. See, we'll throw on both to show you the difference. So this is the normal lump hammer. So that's 275. This is the enhanced lump hammer. 700. If you get a headshot, 1100 damage right there. You can one shot enemies, especially early on in the game. When you get later on in the game, it might not be as strong, because the enemies will be stronger overall. It is definitely worth getting that Pilgrim's Perch key and running down there and grabbing that. It's a simple, quick thing you can do, and you don't have to defeat all the enemies, just run through. Alright, and that is how you get the Enhanced Lump Hammer. Thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. If anyone in the comment section has suggestions on any of the videos, please let me know. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.